Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me and welcome to Make It Monday. Today I am going to work with some just odd pages. Some magazine pages. This is from a music book. Music book. This is from a bird uh, book that I have. You see they're all very large. There's another book page and then this is a policy service reference sheet i got i got most of these from you guys and then this is a big page it's a seating chart kind of thing so I'm just going to work with a bunch of these i have tons and tons of questions that say i have book pages i have magazine pages and they're all too big for my journals how can i use them I'm going to show you how to use those, or how I use them anyway. There's lots of videos, I'm sure, out there on ways to use these, but I'm just going to show you some of my ways. Now, this is a regular page for me. This is the size that I make my journals, and I'll tell you, this is five and a half by eight and a half that's my size page right there sometimes they vary a little bit smaller a little bit larger but that's basic it now as you can see this page is way too tall too wide of course we could fold it it's already been folded when someone shipped it to me we could fold it and it would be almost the size but then we'd still have to trim a bunch off but i want to make something out of these where i don't have to trim very much off if any at all now I like this scene that's to me that's really pretty I love I don't know if this is Arizona or where out there but I love all of those rocks and things this side's pretty too don't mind that so what I'm gonna do is now I need to even this up just for what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna put my crease in a different spot than where it was folded when I received it also, I want to trim off right here because this is a little bit crooked. Straighten that up some and then we'll get started with different ways to use these. And I'm going to try to give you as many ways as I can. I can't guarantee it's going to be a, a ton of them, but I'm going to give you as many different ways as I can. I'm going to lay these aside for a minute. Now, you know that your extra pages or all of your pages that you put in your journal, they do not have to be the same size. They can be smaller, tiny bit larger, but not too much depending on what your cover looks like. So I know that this one's too big, it's too tall, and I don't want to trim all of that off. I really like that. But we, we may lose a tiny bit of it, but that's okay. That's all right. What we're going to do is take it and fold it over this way. All right, we're going to fold it backward. So take that and fold it backward. And I just left, I'll tell you how much I'm leaving, but it's not going to be what you leave because your pages may be different from mine. I'm leaving about three and a quarter down here at the bottom. Now, I'm going to take the bottom and bring it up. So I just grab the bottom part of it and I'm going to bring it up like this and you say well you're still covering a lot of your page up and that that doesn't look so great i am covering some of my page up but i still have my page but to me i have the colors still left so that's good enough now you're not going to be able to leave it where you can pull it out because of course this is going to stitch into the signature so in other words this would stitch in here like that so that's going to be your spine so you're not going to be able to fold this in and out unless you split it right there now you can do that and then you can pull this in and out i don't want to do that since it's just a magazine page and it is kind of glossy i don't want to do that so this is what i'm going to do now i am going to look and see it's still a little bit too wide so i'm just going to trim a little of this off i've got it a little folded a little crooked anyway so we'll just trim some off, just a tad. And I'm not going to lose anything there. You could find another way and fold more of that up if you wanted, but I'm just going to trim this part. Okay. Now, as you can see, this little piece right here is a little bit crooked. You don't have to do this. You don't have to straighten it up. 
I'm just straightening it up because it was actually cut out of the book a little bit crooked so but it doesn't matter you could leave it all right now this is going to be one of my pages I'm going to take my glue I'm going to use some art glitter glue on this because I need little fine lines I'm going to glue right here I'm going to put a little glue right here whoops just a little tip a little bit right here you don't have to put it in the spine because it's going to be stitched but I'm just going to put it there to hold it while I go ahead and put this page together okay now that is glossy so we'll have to press on it just a little bit to get it to stick but that's okay we can do that mop up your excess glue do the same thing on this side just make it stick down now you could always just stitch right there if you wanted to you could just give it a stitch and it would be fine but I'm gonna let that dry a little bit go ahead and press on this side Okay, then on this side, you're going to do the same thing. I'm not going to put anything in the middle on this one, but I'm just going to put my glue right at the edge on the side. I mean, unlike you guys, I do have some, I don't have many magazines. The ones that I have is what you guys have sent me. But I do have some large book pages, and I'd like to be able to use them in my journal without having to cut off pieces. So, this is just one way, and you can always adjust your fold depending on what you want to see. We'll do some a, a different way in just a minute. Okay, that should be my pieces glued down. Now, what you have now is, of course, you have a double page, and it fits. But then, you also have a pocket here, and a pocket here. And then when you use your other pages, this page, you have a little tuck up under here, a tuck pocket. And then on this side, you have another tuck pocket up under there that you can tuck a little tag or whatever in. Now, I would put this piece closer to the top instead of in the middle so that I'd have room to put something right here in the tuck. But that's up to you. You can adjust it any way you want. But see, that's going to hold two tags in there. Now, we'll decorate them up in just a minute. Right now, we're going to make a few. So that's one good page. I don't mind that one at all. Okay, let's take this one and let's adjust it a different way. Let's see. I'm trying to see what was on each side so I know where I want to fold it. I think we'll just do this one like the other and kind of put our seam right in the middle or our spine right in the middle like that. Now, I love this. This is really pretty to me because I like that, that kind of scenery right there. Okay, and I like this and I like this. So, but this is plain. So, this is what we're going to do. Okay, I'm just going to adjust it this way. I'm going to put a little fold right there, right at the edge of that cactus. So, fold that over and kind of sort of get it even if you can. My page is not exactly cut even, but we'll straighten that up in a minute. And then I'm going to take this and fold it back out. Maybe I folded that even. Yeah, it looks pretty close. It could be better. Now, if you're like me and it's hard for you to get a straight fold, then just use your score tool or something like that. But that's going to be fine with me. I'll trim this off until it's, um, until it's straight. That's no problem. Okay, we've got a fold there. And then that's going to be a little tuck. Let's go ahead and... Now, I'm gonna, not going to glue that down just yet because I don't really know what exactly I'm going to do with this other side. Now, that's going to be one side. This one, I really want to see my rocks. So, I'm going to take it and just give it one little fold like this. Now, yeah, of course you could fold the edge up and make side tucks. We do that so many times. I just thought we'd try something a little bit different with these. 
So this is just different. Okay, now I have that folded. I'll show you again how I fold it, but you can see it's still way too tall for my journal. Way too tall. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, now you could keep this at the top if you want, but I think I'm going to cut some of that off. I may cut some of that off. What are we going to do? You know what? I don't think I am going to cut some of it off. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this whole piece and fold it over. Hopefully I folded it the sides of my page here. We'll see. Oh, it's a little bit longer, but that's okay. We'll trim this. This bottom is crooked anyway, so let's go ahead and trim it a little bit. And I'll show you how I'll put some of these in. Now, don't worry about exactly what's on your pages because you can always embellish them and put what you want on there. I just try to pick some that have some very bright colors. That's all I do. Now, I folded that, but I think I've changed my mind because this is actually going to be a good width for a journal page. So I don't think I'm going to fold this part right here. So just don't fold that one. I'm just going to straighten it back out. I am going to cut here. Just cutting down that where I folded it. I'll go over this again. I know it's kind of hard to follow me when I'm making it up as I go. And that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I have done a few of these years ago, but I haven't done any in a while. So you're watching me make it up as I go. I just start folding paper. Okay, I just trimmed a little bit of each one of those off so that it won't interfere with my spine there. Now, I could fold this this way, but I'm not too crazy about that. So, I'm going to fold this to the back side because I like all of that together. So, we'll glue this one down. I'm just going to glue right at the edge. And it is a shiny paper so it takes just a little bit for the glue to catch on even art glitter glue it takes just a second i just give it a good press and then i just mop up any of that glue so we have this little tuck right here and it's not really covering all of my cactus so i'm fine with that now on this side we have just a solid white piece and we have a tuck that goes in that way so i'm going to go ahead and put a little glue down here If any of this, if you miss any of this and you say, well, I just don't know what you did. I don't know how you folded. Just stop the video and go back and just look at it again. But that's another little side tuck and we're going to cover that with something. And then when you go to this side, you've got a little side tuck here. So we're going to glue this down. That's going to be a full page. I don't mind that. Now, you can either cut this off or you can fold that over. I think for, since I don't really want all that writing upside down, I'm just going to trim this off. I can always use that somewhere else if I need to. I'll just trim that like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll glue up here. Now, if you are one like me who makes something like this and then can't remember exactly how you made it, <laughs> then you can always make one and then put it aside for it to be your template. I do that a lot of times when I'm just unsure as to what I actually did. All right, I think those are glued pretty well. So we have a tuck here. We have a tuck here. And I'm pulling them up as I'm talking. We have this solid page, which I love. And then on this side, we have a tuck up here. And I think I'm going to put another pocket down here. <clears throat> I could use that. But I don't really like those colors together. So we'll just use a piece of book page. Yeah, I'm going to trim this off just a tiny bit. And we're going to use... I may use a double two pieces because this even though this is pretty thick it's not as thick as I want it to be on a pocket and sorry if you can hear my stomach it is growling like crazy I don't know why I just ate my lunch a minute ago 
Okay, I'm just going to cut them off and get them even. And I'm just using what book pages I have laying over here. You could always just use a complete book page. Fold it in half. I have, you, I have showed you guys how to make pockets out of those before. So. But I'm just using these up. These are the ones I used on the video yesterday. And I just had part that I cut off. So I thought we'd just use these and get them used up off of my desk. Okay. I'm just going to put those two together like that. And that, that will be thick enough, I think. I'm going to go ahead and punch a little pull up here. And then I want to go ahead and ink up. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to use scorched timber to ink with. <laughs> I can't believe you guys have bought us out of scorched timber again. Thank you so, so much. This will be, we've got more on order. Hopefully it'll be here. Maybe by the middle part of next week. Um, we absolutely can't keep it in stock. It is a very pretty color. Especially if you like a little bit of distress just on the edges. It's a pretty, pretty color. Don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, And this time I think Melina got like 30 something. And they, they were gone in a couple of days after she loaded them up. So I'm going to put this down here. I think that's about the right size. I've got a little bit of a hangover here at the bottom. I got a little bit of a hangover. No, I don't. I do not have hangovers. I do not drink, so I do not have hangovers. All right. I'm going to glue this down. Now, if you wanted a, a thicker pocket, you could do that. This is going to be fine with me. I could run my glue straight. It would be even finer. Okay, we're going to put that right there. I like the contrast of that and that. And then we'll decorate this and decorate that. Now, I didn't punch a pull in that. I think it'll be okay. You could punch a pull in that top if you wanted. So, now, it would stitch in. And let's just make sure... It's a tiny bit taller, but it, that won't hurt anything because I make my covers nine inches, so it'll stitch in here. So you'll have this that we will decorate a little bit, and then you'll have a little tuck here. We're going to decorate some there, and then you've got this beautiful page. I love, 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 and then you've got a pocket here and a pocket up there on that page so there is another way and hang on we'll decorate them in a minute right now we're just folding and getting everything together all right let's look at this gigantic this is not as gigantic as some of them i've had but it's a very big book page now i love this and i don't want to lose that so i don't mind losing this but i want to keep that part now, this is, of course, too wide, and if we fold it in half, it would be too narrow. Well, you could, you could use it, but to me, it would be a little bit narrow. I don't want this to be on two separate pages, so I'm thinking, what am I going to do? On this one, the spine is going to be right here. Let's go ahead and make our spine. first okay this is where it will stitch in the signature so it would go in like that you'll have a long page on this side and I may let me fold it over a little bit more that well no I don't want to lose my waltz there I'm going to trim a little of this off that's going to be better anyway it's because this right here is just white and it doesn't have to be. I just trimmed it with my Dickel Edge Ruler. I like that. I like to... Now, that's going to be fine right there. Okay, we have... I'm turning it around and around. I'm sorry. We have our page here. I want to keep this. I don't mind losing this. So, this one is going to fold up. And I'm just going to kind of meet it at the top there. 
like that. I've got my pieces folded up like that. And then I'm going to fold this back down. And I will still have my waltz that I love that font. And then I still have this down here. I love that too. So let's go ahead and crease these folds and see what we've got. It's a beautiful waltz. Now this is going to be our spine so we need to figure out how we can get this to open up so that we can stitch it in our spine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here and here. Cut that little piece out. I'm hoping this is going to work. <laughs> this doesn't work y'all won't ever see this video because thinking on my feet used to be very very easy for me but now it's like duh what <laughs> that's what my kids say when I say something crazy they'll say duh what okay let's see if that works yes we've got a flip out there Okay, this one we're going to have to fold differently. Okay. Now, I cut that little piece out where I folded it up. And then these two pieces are, are going to be my other page that we're going to actually attach something to to make it a little bit longer. And you can see I've got my little spine right there. So these two pieces we're going to glue together. Now you could also leave, hmm, we might do this. I started to say, you could also leave this top where it would be another little tuck. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to trim a little bit more off because I got it a little bit crooked, I think. Or either my eyes crooked, which is possible. Okay, that works. Now I'm going to glue just right down through here. And I don't even think I'm going to glue the bottom together because we can actually put a little something in there and let it go all the way down, maybe. Hmm, do I want to? No, I'll need to glue this bottom together or something will fall out, won't it? Y'all like me making it up as I go? I hope you're not trying to follow me. <laughs> oh, Lord, I don't know how anybody follows along with me. Okay, let's work on this side first. We're going to glue this little guy down right here. And this is a nice page so it's not shiny. It glues very well. Now we have a pocket here for a nice big tag. Got our beautiful paper there. And then the second page will be this one. And you have Let's see if I can find something to put in there. You have a pocket here on that. And then we're going to attach something to this to make it longer. And then on here, you have a pocket on this side. This is just by making some folds in your paper. All you got to do. So see, now you've got a pocket that goes up that way. So if it was in our signature like this... This is where we're going to attach a little bit of paper, book page, something else to make it a little wider. Got a little pocket here. You open it up to the next page. You've actually got a little pocket here on this side. That will glue, that will stitch in the signature right there. So we've got a pocket here. And then when you turn it on over, you have another larger pocket here. But you still have a lot of that book page showing. Or music page, I should say. And I just like to ink around them because to me it just makes it look a little bit better. So this is just some folds. That's all we're doing. Flipping and folding. Right? So the first thing we did was we folded the middle up. And then we folded it back down. And that made this pocket. Those two pockets, I should say. And then on this side, we just glued this together right here. And it made a little tuck pocket. Now, if you don't want this to show, you can cover it up. That's another one made. We're going to lay it aside. Now, this is a challenge. I'm going to see. I don't know if this one will work with anything that I'm going with. But we're going to see. Let's see. 
I don't remember who sent me these. Uh, may have been Gloria. I'm not sure. I got them just a little while ago. So let me think on this one just a minute. And then we'll proceed with making this. Okay. I would like to keep this because I like all those numbers and how this is designed. I don't mind if this goes away. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make a top tuck pocket maybe on this side and then on the other side it'll be a bottom tuck, I believe, if I fold it right. Okay, we've got that where we can see this. I love it. You can journal on the sides. That, see, I just folded it backward, like somewhere close to the middle, and then I flipped it over and I took this piece and folded it back down. That took care of that top part that I didn't really care for. And it gave us some pretty big, nice pockets here. Now, it's the right height. It's a little bit shorter, but that's okay. You don't have to have all your pages the same size. But we do need to make sure that it's the right width. Let's see if I fold it. I think that's going to be too wide, yes. Okay, I'm going to cut some of this edge off. It's a lot of white, and I'm just going to cut it off. I can save that for stamping on. That'll be a good piece. Now, I think that will be a good width right there to stitch it in our signature. Yes. But we've still got all of this over here. So what shall we do with that? I think I'm going to fold it back this way. The opposite direction. And just press it down. Now this, this right here is upside down. But I'm going to cover that with some ephemera, page, or ephemera pieces. So it will go in our journal. No problem. On this page you'll have a top tuck. And we're going to glue that down right there. Let's go ahead and do that. And then when you open it up to this page, you've got a tuck here that we're going to glue down. Oops. Go straight, Edith. Goodness. I can't. I'm going crooked. Okay. Then this is our spine. That's where we'll stitch in the spine. You've got another tuck here. You could put more pockets or whatever down here. Or let that be your writing spot. And then you're going to flip it. You've got another page here. Let's just say this is in our journal. Let's go ahead and put it in so we'll know what we're talking about. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Open it up. There is my first page. It's going to be decorated. Then there's my second page with a top tuck pocket. Third page top tuck pocket. And then you're going to fold this over. This is not going to stitch in the signature, so this page would actually just fold out. Okay, let's pretend it's stitched in right there. So this page would actually fold out if that's the way you want to use it. You know, you can glue it down over here and have it as another big tuck. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this part down because that's another tuck right there. I think that is the way we're going to do it right there. Our first page with the top tuck. Second page. Uh, this is That was the bottom tuck. Top tuck. Top tuck. And then we flip it over or fold it out, whichever one you want. We've got another tuck here. And then when you, when it's in the journal, it's stitched right here. You can open that out and you've got a tuck and a tuck. And like this is upside down, but we can remedy that. Uh, you could actually, and I don't think that would hurt at all, you could actually stitch it in this way. And then these pieces would be the right way up. This doesn't really matter being upside down because the numbers go in every direction. Then you've got a tuck. I think that's the way I'll put mine in. I'm going to stitch, stitch it in right here. So then this would be a first page that will flip out. So we've got a tuck here and a tuck here. And then this would be another page. You've got a tuck here at the bottom. 
and then another tuck here and another tuck here and then of course you can use this for writing or embellish it now I think we'll embellish some of these in a minute and I, I'm gonna try to embellish this one because this one's got more pages than most but see you got a nice tuck there then this would because it's stitched in here this would fold out you've got a tuck here a tuck here look how good that goes together hmm and then when you turn your page you've got another tuck here and another tuck here then you flip your page again and you have a tuck here so we we got that little guy all in here i like that all right, we'll embellish that one in a minute. Let's do at least one more, and then we'll start embellishing. Okay, I love this bird page, but it's too tall to go in our journal. I don't want to fold it up and lose part of my birds, which you could definitely do. It's also too wide, because there's our spine, and I don't want to lose a lot of these birds. These, we're going to have to lose some, and that's okay, but I want to kind of try to keep these. So I think my spine will be, I'm going to fold just a little piece over for my spine. All right, that will be my spine, yep. And then we can attach something else on here to make this longer. And we'll do that in a minute when we start embellishing. So then I've got a good bit that I need to fold up or do something with. So I am just going to fold it up like this. I'm just meeting them at the top and then I'm going to fold this. Now if you want it to be the exact size of your page you can just measure it like this. It doesn't matter to me if it's the exact size or not. Just a little tuck is what I'm looking for. Okay so let's see. All right, that's still a little wide, so I'm going to fold it on over just a little bit. I'll open this back up, and we'll go over the folds again in just a second. That would be fine. Really, it's a little bit much, but that's okay. All right, let's open this back up. Now, I'm, I want to keep all the page. I don't want to tear part of it off or tear this off. So I'm just going to make a spine, which is going to be this one. And the reason you make a spine is because you need to envision it being stitched into your signature, which right there is where it would stitch. Okay. Then I know it's too tall, but I don't want to lose these birds. So I folded it all the way up like that. Then I folded a little pocket or a little piece back down and that makes a pocket here and then a little pocket here for a little tag and then you've still got your birds it's about the same height and about the same width so this one was a simple one all you have to do is just glue this I've got another idea for a different one so hang on it just popped into my head. Just popped right there. <laughs> oh, me. Wish other things would pop in my head that quick. Now, let's see. I'm not going to put glue here because that will be stitched in the signature. We don't need it there. We do need glue here to glue that down. All right. Now, the page... It's, it's okay. It's a little bit crooked, but I'm not worried about that. And then over here, I'm going to glue this little piece down. So when you make those kind of folds, you actually make pockets on both sides of your pages. And see, I've still got a lot of my birds. I didn't lose very much at all. So that would go there. We'll extend this page out with something, maybe another book page. I've got a little tuck here that I can tuck a little tag up in. Let me grab something right there and then when this page flips over I've got another little tuck right here that I need to glue forgot about you sorry okay so then you have another little tuck right here 
And then on this side, you've got a big tuck. You can put a big tag in. And I, I will cover a little of that. I don't know if I'll cover it all. Then when you flip it over to this page, you have a tuck there. And you still get to keep most all of your birds. We only lost very few. I'm going to even this up a little bit right here. Just because I tore it and I didn't tear it straight. I should always put things back in my trimmer. But, uh-oh. Glue. I ran into glue. I'll probably have to glue that together again. No, actually. Worked pretty good. Okay. So there is another page. Now I've got one more page that I want to show you. And then we can get started on some embellishing. Okay, I have this gigantic music page, and it's got handwriting on it. I love it. It's got water damage on it. It's very brittle, so probably when I fold, I'll have to put washi or something on to kind of protect the folds, but we are going to work on this one. Let's fold this one this way, and I'm just guess guesstimating. I'm not being too precise. So we folded it in that way. Go ahead and crease that fold. Actually, that didn't crack. That surprises me. I actually folded it back. So I folded it back like that. Then we're going to take this one and fold it back the other direction. And I'm just going to flip it over like this so I can kind of get my seam straight. And fold it back like that. Now we need to get the part that's going to stitch in the signature. I'm just going to fold it about right there. This is going to be where the signature is. So in other words, this would stitch in like that. That would be where we stitch it in. This page is going to be shorter. This page is going to be about the right height or width. Now we know we're way too tall. So, let's adjust this. So, I think I will fold it up about right there. This is where I'm going to get some cracking. Because I'm putting a little more pressure on it. And then I'm going to fold this one back down. Like that. see what it would do we still got it a little bit little bit tall let's go ahead and fold this over this look this poor little page is going to crack everywhere but at least you'll get the idea if you have any like this I'm just going to use a washi tape on it and I'll go ahead and use it anyway all right let's do this and see if it's going to work yes that's going to work now I know that's a lot of folding but let me show you that again. I just took this side and folded it over and made that. Okay. Then I folded the whole thing up and then back down. So it's got a fold here and then I folded this part back down. Then I needed a spine somewhere to stitch in my spine. So I folded this over. That's going to stitch in. My, my spine's going to stitch right there. This part I folded over, but I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it off because it is very brittle. It's just like it's already gone anyway. So I'll use this for stamping on. Now we'll just cut that off right across there. And that'll be a good stamping page. So now we have something that looks like this. So it will stitch in here, stitch in there. Then when you open this up, you've got this first page, got music page there. This will be a little tuck, and we're, we'll have to cover this because it's very brittle. This will be a little side tuck here, and then it'll be another tuck down here. And then that will open up. Let's pretend it's stitched in there. We've got a little tuck here and a tuck here. And then a tuck here. And then on this short page, you have a tuck here. Okay. 
Then when you flip it over to the next page, you've got a tuck there. So what we'll do is we'll put some paper or washi or something on here to protect this because I don't want to lose that little piece there. I love how that looks. Let's see. What will we put on there? I think I'm just going to grab my washi and see if I've got some that kind of goes with that. I'm going to use some of this. This is a very wide washi tape, but I think it'll work. It's very sticky, so I don't think we'll have to worry about it adding any extra glue. Well, it just stuck to itself. How do you like that? Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, I'm going to open this back out so that I can put some washi there. I'm just going to put some at the edge and then we'll fold it around. Okay, I need you to move. Thank you. All right. That on there. And I'm just going to fold it around to the other side doesn't have to be perfect people no perfection I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this bottom part don't do that this washi I think if I'm not mistaken came from the washi tape shop and I usually have a link below the video for them I do get a little bit of commission when somebody buys from them just a few cents but you know every dime helps All right, I need another little piece right there. I kind of skipped it. Oh, this wash is so sticky that it uh, it's easy to tear in the wrong places. I think I actually just put that piece upside down, but that's okay. It doesn't have to match everything. Okay. Now we've got our little fold there. And that looks like it's all taken care of. Oh, I like that on there, actually. Now, I have no clue if they keep all of these same washies all the time. I, I got this one last year, so I don't know. I'm going to put some on this edge, too. Maybe, just maybe, I can go all at once on here. And we'll flip this around. Oops. Come on, washi. Yeah, this is very sticky. Okay, so we've got washi here that protects that. Um, I may need a little bit across here because that is cracking. That's okay. I don't mind it cracking. I don't mind using my washi on it. Whoops, whoops. There went my washi tape. Down in the flow. Put that there. Let's see if I need any more anywhere. I think this one is actually not cracking too bad. It was mainly that other one. So I think we're going to leave that. Now let's make sure that we have it in the places that we need. And we do. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, since that's going to be our signature here, it's going to stitch it in there. I'm going to glue this piece right here down. Now this is pretty thick, so I may have to actually put a clip on that. I don't know. And then I'm going to glue right here. Okay, so we got a tuck there, a tuck here. I glued you. Stay glued. Then... When we open this up, we have a tuck here. So we'll glue that part down. Now this music page is pretty thick, so this is going to add some thickness to your journal. But if you're like me, you don't mind that. I don't mind thickness. Okay, then we're going to glue this part down. This is a big, deep pocket. And since I have 
since I have glued that with like many thicknesses, I'm going to put a little clip on it just for a little bit to hold that down. We also want to glue right here to hold that part down. Right there. And then down here at the bottom. I think we already glued this once. But it's unglued. There we go. Then you have this little pocket going all the way across. So we're going to put some glue here. And then it would fold up like that. So you need glue on this side. And clipping. So then we have a little tuck there. A tuck there. A tuck here. A little tuck here. We need to glue this. Right there. So a little tuck there. Tuck there. Open it up. You got a tuck here, a tuck here, a tuck there. Need to glue that down. See, when you start looking at all your tucks and pockets, you realize the places that you didn't glue yet. So tuck there. And then on this side, you have a little tuck here. This is stitching the signature right there. Then when you flip it over, you've got a tuck over here. And that is a ton of pockets. How many do we have? One, two, three four five six seven eight nine pockets if i counted right in this one sheet so just one page and we get nine pockets and a beautiful music page in here i love that then like i said we're going to decorate them a little bit i'm going to lay this one aside and let it dry because i can't decorate it until it dries well and now we're going to decorate some of these that we have already made Okay, let's start out with number one. I don't really want anything on this. I love the colors. I think I will put something up here. Since you can only see part of that word, I will put a label or something up there. So let's see what we want to do. I think I'll put that label on there. This is one of Tracy Fox labels. And this says Bran branch. <laughs> branch. This says branch. And it gives you the meaning of a branch. Well, that will cover the majority up. That's okay. It'll cover enough. Now there's tons of ways that you can decorate these. You can put, you know, lace on them. You can do different things. I don't know that I'm going to do a ton to them until I start to put them in my journals. So I do want a few little pieces around here, but like I said, I think I'll wait until I put it in my journal. I may put like a butterfly or something on here that's kind of going after the flowers. All right, we flip it open. This is very plain, so we can put something on there. I kind of like that black on there. This, I don't know where I got these labels. I can't remember. Uh, I'm thinking one of you guys sent them to me. And what else do we want on there? Maybe a Tim Holtz number. Well, that's a like a P.O. box, but it'll work. That there. And then we could we could always put a flower or something down here if we wanted. Not sure I want to do that, but we'll see. Now I don't remember where these label are they sticky labels? They feel pretty thick. Like they're sticky. I don't know if they are, but we'll find out in a minute. They are. They are sticky labels. Okay. Thank you, whoever sent these to me. I don't have a clue. Is that straight-ish? And then these are the Tim Holtz number labels. I think we do have... Yeah, it looks like we have quite a few of these. They have all different kinds of numbers... Um, numbers and things on them. I think he calls them number strips. I think the name of them. Whoops. Come out of there. Alright. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the backing off of this one. That other one wasn't too easy. Alright. Put that one there. Now this is going to be on two separate pages so it doesn't matter if they look similar. There'll be one of them be in the front of the journal and the other one be in the back of the journal. Cute. I don't mind that. 
Now, as I said, you can put something else down here if you want. I kind of like that color in there, but I may when I start to put it in a journal. Now, on this side, hmm, I kind of do want something to cover this. So let's see what we have. I'm not sure what I have. I'll tell you, I have, uh, I have about exhausted a lot of my ephemera pieces. That's for sure. Kind of like that there. That's a Tim Holtz floral piece. Hmm. All the butterflies are huge, so I don't think I'll use any of his butterflies. Let's see what butterflies we might have in here, if if any are cut out. No, nope. no purple. That one would look good there. This is just one of those little acetate butterflies that we sold a few years ago. And they're not sticky, so I'm just going to trim out around it just a little bit. They glue down well with just your glue. Then I'm going to just touch the edges of this a little bit to cover up the tiny bit of white that they left on here. Okay, I don't mind that. And I'm not going to work, I'm not going to cover up the map or this. That will be fine. So that is a page that's pretty well ready to go. Let's go ahead and do this one. Um, we got a pocket here, so I need to ink that just a little bit so you can tell that there's actually a pocket there. Let's see what I might have in here that we could put on here. Oh, I kind of like that on there. I got these from, who did I get these from? Uh, the person that sends me things and had rather not be mentioned, the name. I got these from her. Thank you so, so much. I love these kind of stickers. You can actually still see through them, but they make a very good embellishment. Now, I'm just going to add to this page, but I'm going to use this side to add to so that we won't cover that up. Um, let's see what else we got. She also sent me some of this tape. I'm not sure what kind of tape this is. Look at that but it kind of blends into the background so we won't use that I'd really like to cover that man's head because <laughs> I'm not not too crazy about his head sticking out there oh we could put that one on there another uh, clear looking sticker I think they call them like washi stickers or something I don't know but they're um oh did I put that upside down did I I don't really know because the writing I can't read anyway but I think I did. I don't know if I'll be able to get it up. If I can't, we're going to leave it. Well, see, that looks upside down more. I don't know which way is which. It's that way. We're going to leave it. I don't know why I took it up. That's fine. All right, got that. Just going to put a little bit of ink right here. And then in here, I kind of want to embellish a little bit in here. Not a lot. But I want kind of some colorful pieces, maybe. These are just some of the pieces that, from the Tim Holtz collection. I think they're cute. So, what do we want? What about that piece? And I think this is called Palette, um, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just use that piece there. Now, I probably won't decorate every one of these, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea. You can put different embellishments on them. Like I said, if you want to cover the whole thing, then cover it all. It doesn't matter. It's yours. I'm just putting a few little pieces on here. I think I'm going to grab that, maybe. There we go. And I think I'm going to leave that. I don't mind seeing that on there. Okay, and then on this side, I'm not going to cover any of that. I might come back later and put just like a little label or stamp or something up there, but not right this minute. So we're going to leave that one. So that one is done. I may embellish one more and then we'll call it, call it quits. Um, let's see what we want to do here. I have this piece of lace that could possibly go down through there, but it's, it's really white. Let me grab another piece of lace or a piece of 
paper that I want to put down through here. Okay, this is actually, I saw this on my desk when I started Get Up. This is actually one of those snippet rolls that I did a while ago, but I like that on there. So we're going to do it. I have, had one left, and I saw it laying there on my desk when I started Get Up. I thought that might work because it's got some of the same colors in it that all right and we got our tuck here we got that there and then on this side we got a tuck here so we need I'd like to have something down through here all right let's put this little piece of vellum there and I'm gonna tear it on both sides because it is a little bit big I'm just gonna use my glue stick on it. You can use your Barely Arts would work great. I just happen to have my glue stick laying right here. Okay, that works. You can still see the writing through it, but we've got a little bit of color there. And then we're going to put a little bit of color here. All right, and then we got this page. I'm not sure I'll do anything to that. And then we have this page it has a pocket here, so I need some kind of embellishment there. Oh yeah, I don't mind that because it's got some orange up here. This says Amsterdam. And you could just glue three sides of this down and let it be another little tuck. But I think I've got quite a few tucks going on here. Let's just put this piece on here. It just says take me away. Because to me that looks like vacation. <laughs> there we go. Then we'll make a tag for that and something for here. And then there. Cool. I like that. All right, guys. I, I don't think I'm going to decorate any more on camera. I'll try to get the other ones decorated and then just give you a, a view of them at the end of the video. We will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.